No, he ain't recording. Oh, well, I was about to say. Is he? Ah, oh, you know Daryl starts some shit and won't tell us. Oh, shit. <laughs> crazy, you see? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Naturally Funny Podcast. I am one of your co-hosts, or hosts, whatever. I guess I'm a co-host, but I wanted a host to make me a co-host. Uh, Sleezo. You can follow me on Instagram at Street Mafia underscore big underscore Sleezo, or you can follow me at NFE underscore Sleez. I am your other co-host, Virate Jenkins. You can follow me at uh, Virate Jenkins on Facebook, Virate Jenkins on Instagram, Virgo Rock on Snapchat, and you can follow the Naturally Funny ENT um, uh, shit, uh, goddamn, Instagram Twitter page. Man. Instagram Twitter. page. And Instagram. Got a brain fart. Mm. That's all good. It's episode 28. <laughs> This is episode 28. 28, Marshall Falk. We're a little bit better informed than last week. So. Hell yeah. It was, all, <laughs> it was all over the place last week. <laughs> we was just, nigga asked the question, we ain't know. We was telling y'all. Yeah, he, he fucked us up. He fucked me up. I was trying to cut. Fucking cut. Who the fuck told you to come out here with all that shit? the edit though. Yeah. You said the word. Yeah. I was like, mm-mm. Yeah, Mm-mm. yeah, <laughs> that's in the bud, dog. But yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm starting off with. All right, so Space Jam is getting ready to come out. Uh, if you haven't noticed from the previews and the little videos and pictures that they put out, they did some changes with some of the characters. Uh, Lola Bunny looks like I can't even say what Lola Bunny looked like. From what she looked like, because, she looked like Juana Man with no, bunny ears. I don't want to say it, so I'm just gonna say she she like Juana Man. With but bunny I get ears. it, I get it. I don't. Okay, see, this is my thing. All right, so we're gonna get into what we're gonna talk about. Mm-hmm. But then I'm gonna say what I want to say. All right, so they got rid of Pepe Le Pew Ooh. because they said he 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 is rape culture, right? Cool. Mm. Let me get into this because mm. it's on my mind, right? So. I'm tired of America being so sensitive about everything. I get it with the the she, the Me Too shit and all that, and Bill Cosby and all, all the other people, Allegedly. all the other people that's being called out for doing this and that and the other. But you're taking away from it. Uh, to be honest, I never, as a kid, thought Pepe Le Pew was a fucking rapist as people was making him out to see. Nah, I just thought he just. Was funny and he was his game was weak, so he was extra aggressive on it. But I mean, I get it. But if you're gonna get rid of Pepe Le Pew, these are other people that you need to get rid of. Johnny Bravo. I was about to say, my nigga, but Johnny Bravo gotta go. Gotta go. I just watched the clip today where he's like, "Call me back in 15 years when you're a co-ed." Um, what the fuck? Yeah, mm. talked to a little girl. She asked me to come over and play. He was like, "Call me back when you're 15. Call me back in 15 years when you become a co-ed." He loved the phone. Um, the old perverted motherfucker from the Family Guy. Giggity, giggity, giggity. No, that's no, Quagmire. That's he ain't no pervert? Man. He a pervert, but he not the pervert like the other dude. The other dude that be trying to fuck, uh, uh, is it Brian? Yeah. Yeah. Trying to fuck Brian. The old the dog? man. The old man that be trying to. Chris and Brian. He be trying to fuck Chris. Yeah, that's Chris, not Brian. Yeah, sure. You know the old man. Sure. Oh, With the, the old guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to get rid of him. And Durante's favorite person that we should have get rid of in the TV show is Miss Nikki Parker. Yes. The Parkers. Um, Shit, Elmira got to go, too. She was trying to give a uh, little bunny dick, too, on, on Tiny Toon Division. That ain't it. Motherfucking Roger from Sister Sister. Y'all going to do know. it. Do it. You know what? I can't say Roger. Roger wasn't really aggressive. He was shooting his shot and just getting shot the fuck down. He was getting a tumble blocked. I get that. Yeah. Okay, I apologize. Roger, go home. He right. was. He was. He was. This is what Roger was, right? And I've been this person before, so I know Roger is that homeboy that got some cute friends, but he been friends with them for so long that when he, now that he want to hit on them, they don't take him serious because he been a homeboy for so long. It's kind of like you in the friend zone, but it could be a mishap and you slip up and get. Get the girl. Yeah. Mishap, like, I don't want to talk about it. No, I'm just saying, y'all might, it just might be something and it, it might happen, but it, it don't make or break our friendship. It just, it might happen one time. Um, it happened with a friend. I don't really feel like, I feel like you didn't have to take Pepe Le Pew out of Space Jam. I felt like you could have toned him down a little bit and kept him there. Um, 
you kind of take away from the original Space Jam. Um, I just feel like we went from not giving a fuck about a lot of shit in movies, TV shows, and all that, and now it's like everything is offensive. Unless it got something to do with black folks. We call it spade to spade. Or, uh, I'm not even, <laughs> I would say black people is the last, because, well, uh, yeah, because you can make fun of black people and I get in trouble. They do it all the time. You can, you can. All I seen the time. A, I seen the old Tom and Jerry episode, and it's and, uh, Tom and Jerry did blackface. It was a meme. It was like, how much do you got to hate black people to have a mouse do blackface? And it's crazy. Because, and listen, mm. I'm going to say this a thousand times. I don't care if nobody said it. We all have seen it. Obama signing these rights to the community has kind of made to that community, which I'm not talking about your community, but not saying that y'all don't deserve rights because y'all do every human being on this earth do of any color, statue, form, or anything like that. And I don't have no hate or discontent towards any group, so don't think that. But Good job. when it's like, it's cool to do homosexual stuff on TV, but we can't over-sexualize stuff now. And I, I don't get that because it's like every TV show that you watch. Commercial. Like commercials, Cartoon. cartoons. It's somebody homosexual in there. And we're supposed to accept that. Okay, accept to what you are, what you would conform to. I got my opinions on those. I won't say those on camera. I don't want to offend nobody or on either side, so I'll just keep that to myself. But... I feel like the rape thing is kind of a touchy subject now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everything could be considered borderline, rapish, and it's just, I know to us it's just probably male behavior. You know what I'm saying? Different man. But I know females that do the same thing with males. And Hell like, yeah. It Nigga, don't, I got my whole it don't get the, shit grabbed at work. It don't get the same. On the clock. It don't get the same backlash. You know what I'm saying? I've been sexually Nigga, assaulted listen, by a woman Let me before, tell you something. By a woman that I didn't want to touch on me. And she and she touched on me and people laughed. Everybody around me laughed and thought I was acting funny just because I thought she was ugly or some shit like that or whatever. But I really did want her to put her hands on me. Right. And she felt and groped on me, and I had a problem with it, and people thought it was funny. You can't even. But I know that. on the other hand, on the other hand, the statute of limitations is probably over with it by now. It was years ago. No, not on no rape, mm -hmm. nigga. Well, Apparently, sexual assault. Right. Yeah. Apparently, yeah, because that yeah. shit was uh with dogs thirty something years. Yeah. yeah. But I just feel like that's crazy. That's wild. Like I just feel like yeah, that's wild. I just feel like it's hard to. Nigga, dude, I, ain't, half a yarn, a I was yarn. like yarning and blowing the smoke, but it was something. I I um we say it all the time on the show when you be like freedom of speech ain't free, no. and we be like it's free. The consequences is what it costs. Like the consequences way severe now for anything that you do or say wrong about any ethical or racist stuff for black people. Yep, it's true. Piers Morgan don't like Meghan Markle. She's a black duchess, right? She's a duchess, right? Mm -hmm. He don't like her. Now, I, 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 I'm I, pretty sure they got more to do than just him don't like her because she black. I think I just watched a clip. Mm -hmm. It said that he went out to have drinks with her and then he got her a cab to go to a party, but she left him to go party with Prince Harry or something like that. So I think he butt hurt at her. They he didn't get on and she didn't like him. But I mean, I'm choosing a That's some plain a, nigga shit. I'm choosing a princess over a motherfucking reporter any day. You mean a prince? No, I'm just saying I'm not gonna choose a prince. Oh I'm hell saying, no. My, me yeah, personally. Yeah. I got him. I got him. I got him. I get it though. But yeah, um It's some bullshit. It's some bullshit. Cancel if he canceled, stop playing the motherfucking Parkers. They ain't they just bring the Parkers back out. I don't think they gonna stop. And I feel I feel That's like bullshit. I feel like paper repeat. You gotta understand because Disney is a company. I don't know who do who do who Warner do Brothers. Warner Brothers do them, right? Mm-hmm. So no, I 
retract my last statement because I was gonna say something about Disney. But. Shit, it's probably some Disney characters that you know what I'm saying. That I know. Uh, in How to Train a Dragon Three, it's two homosexual kids in there, Dragon Trainer. That's why it, it's. I watched the movie and I was like, "What? He like him? Like this the third one? Like what happened to them? Like liking the girls and growing up? It's, it's weird." So, and the only cartoon I see like that, wow. but it's weird. Um, okay, so COVID is still among us. It's still affecting us. Well, it's affecting who it wants to affect because the states of Texas and Mississippi have got rid of their mandatory mask law. In Texas, everything, restaurants, malls, whatever fucking business you own is open at 100% now. Is everybody um, out at 100%? What you think? Niggas is catching the first thing to Texas right now. Man, fuck. Strip clubs, Man. everything open. Kafua, 4 o'clock in the morning is back popping. What I'm telling you is this, 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 this. RIP to those who lost their life in COVID. RIP to those who lost their life because of COVID. But I feel like this was, this was, this was put here for a reason. It was, it happened. It's going away too fast, bro. Like way too fast. Like last year we was COVID bound and we ain't even made it to we a year a year into it now. Almost. We ain't even made it into the summer again. It'll be a year next week. We ain't even made it March sixteenth. Yep, I remember it's the last day I walked yep. out of work. Baby so, boy birthday. Uh, the world, the South, it seems like never had COVID. <laughs> Mm. The South been cracking the whole fucking pandemic, man. But you know when you the still, first happened, they were still doing shows. They said the shit, the weather would kill it, which I don't understand because motherfucking they shit. They told us thirty different things about right. COVID, man. That shit ain't, man. Listen, we don't know what can kill it. Whatever them niggas got in that that motherfucking. Don't say it. Don't lab say it. is what. Oh, I thought you about this. Mm-mm. What? Do it, nothing. We talk about it. Light ain't shit. Yeah, that bitch dead. Go ahead, keep talking, nigga. Yeah. Who's you? Man, we ain't about to sit here and do that on here. I can get up and go in the kitchen and find something. Here, nigga. Let's get to the talk. <laughs> you goofy motherfucker. Just give it here, man. I just lit it again. Goddamn, boy. Niggas, I ain't about to sit here and soup. You're welcome. Yeah, but um, I don't know. It's crazy because it affects certain shit and it don't affect certain shit. It's affecting sports, but it don't affect real life. Like I don't like this shit weird. Like I see, I think that shit got a lingering effect on people who who has it too. For real, mm-hmm. like, like side effects. I had it. Shit, I had it. And it was just the flu to me. I ain't really. I just had a dog ass chest cold for about two weeks, two and a half weeks. I don't know if I had it or not before it was what it was. Mm -hmm. Like it was in like December. You had it. That was a lot. Anything after. I was good one day, right? I was good one day. I was literally, I went, handled my business. The next day, I felt like shit. I felt like I was going to die. Body was aching and shit. I see, that's how I was. My I, wife was like, what is wrong? I was like, I don't know. Yeah, that's it. I, I had said, a dog ass chest cold. For two weeks, two bro, I was weeks. sick as dog shit. I was still going to work. Yeah, I like called off like two days and then like. Barely working. And then I just doped up on burners and fucking. Spend, you know, Detroit 30, medicine. And Dayquil, nigga. Detroit shit. medicine mixed with. I spent like shit. $50 I on like I medicine. Had shit. Like I had yeah, shit. you had it. Yeah. I couldn't Diarrhea. get out the bed. I couldn't yeah. eat. I went to the doctor. Them niggas gave me a shot in the ass. And an IV. <laughs> that shot, nigga, they put this some... I had to get it in my ass. I don't know what it was. She was like, ass or somewhere else. And I was like, man, just put it in the meaty part. I ain't even... Mm. Yep. It's only that. I ain't been there, no, whatever, brother. Hey, hey. I already got a pause if you think like that. If you don't think like that, you would think. I, that's the doctor's term that they use. I'm not thinking like nothing. You said put it in the meaty part. That's what the doctor said at the hospital. 
Oh, boy, listen. You want me to put it in the meaty part of your thigh or here? That's how, that's their terminology. It's their terminology. No, I don't do that. But. <laughs> I, I was about to say something. This shit threw me off. I feel by the end of the year, <laughs> I feel like by the, by the end of the year, um, we ain't even going to be caring about COVID no more. I don't still care about it. I love my kids. No, I'm. Th- it's not going to be a factor, bro. It's going to be like every other big disease that came to America. Yeah, chicken pox. Yeah. It's, are we going to just, or it's going to become like you getting the vaccinations now, but it's going to become like getting the, they going to try, it's going to end up being like the flu shot you had to get. I've never it. taken a fucking flu shot and never had the flu. Knock on wood. Never. Bro, I used to have You're to not about that. to put no fucking shit inside of me. That's like them putting that shit inside of the kids. And they be normal after they take that damn shot. They be fucked up. I'm straight. Listen. I thought they was going to put. Time. I was a guinea what, pig. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you ain't had no damn I know choice. This. They had to pump some shit in your ass. I got fucking anthrax in my fucking blood right now. That's he why. He served. That's probably why I'm fucking crazy and shit don't hurt and I don't get sick. My allergies I ain't really been fucking with me like like the Sorry. last year or two. But, <laughs> like I ain't never gave plasma, but a nigga told me that if I wouldn't gave plasma with anthrax in my blood, I'd get $150 for the first time. Them niggas be getting $35. Niggas be standing in line for thirty five dollars. You go, you go. Listen, it's thirty five the first time, then it's seventy. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a. And that's people hustle. They pay Somebody them. was mad as mad as fuck with me about talking to, talk about that on uh, Facebook. I know a nigga that I knew a nigga that hustled like that for but like what I'm two saying, years. Is how the fuck was, are you going to stand in line and you got on cardies and all this expensive ass shit? You buying it from there? Man, fuck that. They got them little cars. Niggas, niggas be out there boy, fresh right. as hell, waiting to give up their shit for thirty five bucks. No, it's 35, like, it go in increments, so depending on how many times So niggas you, getting the 40 ball damn near. No, it depends on how many. First time. No, it depends on how many times you go and how many times you gave and how many times you've been up there. Like, it's they actually, like, I looked that shit up. It really is a payment program. You could make nigga upwards to, like, $300 in a week doing that shit. So just imagine if a nigga go three a week, it's... That's twelve dollars a month. Hmm. You got another little hustle going on, nigga. Do you got to claim that on taxes? Oh, no, that's free money, nigga. That's a gift. They give you a card, like a gift card down there, something hmm. like that. I be seeing these niggas out here, man. Shout out to them niggas that get plans. I know a nigga that lived off that. Nigga paid his bills and everything. For real. That should help me get back on his feet. Now, me, personally, I'm not finna go get no plasma. You are not finna take my blood from me and then pump some shit the, the blood you didn't want back in me or whatever the fuck that shit is back in me. The plasma or whatever. I'm not, or you take the plasma out of my blood. Don't take the nutrients out of my blood and give me the blood with no nutrients back. You trying to die. I feel like you trying to kill me. La, 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 la. What kind of goofy shit is that? <laughs> that makes sense. No. Hey man, I'm gonna take all the nutrients out your body, and then I'm just gonna give you back. I, I'm gonna give you the shit that's left over from from all. Well, after I take all the they good shit. They gonna give you the shake, nigga. Give you the shake. The fuck on eyes, boy. Fuck around with them niggas, man. The last bit of the Kool Aid. Crazy as hell. Fuck around, motherfucker. All right. So, <laughs> Cardi B became the first female rapper to go diamond uh, with her Bodak Yellow single. Uh, Bloody shoes. Also, Kodak Black has a diamond plaque because, you know, we all know where she got the inspiration for that song from. Um, so, shout out to them. Um so she put him on the credit, writing credit. Yeah, he got writing credit. He gonna get paid off that for the rest of his life. For Bodak. Yep. That's his beat, his flow. If you go back, he got a song. It's called Flocking. Mm-hmm. It's the same beat. Just that his flocking was a little bit faster though. Huh? Yeah, his. That, yeah, it's the same beat. It was a little faster though. 
And he be like, I'm a healthy kid. I smoke broccoli. Ain't no stopping me. me. He rap like how she rapping about. And then about that girl was just trans. <laughs> oh shit! I'm like what? She definitely be a dog stop. But that's a big. That's a big. Cause Kodak got like 234 million views on that video. And beat cold as hell with the original one. Well, both of them cold as hell too. I'm seeing some thug ass niggas rapping that Cardi B shit. I wanna uh, I, <laughs> hey listen, I I really wanna get Cardi her props though. Like, she ain't the best female rapper, but she make hits for sure. Who's the best female rapper? Best female rapper. rapper, mainstream female All time. rapper. We gonna have to do a top five one day. I think I got one. You not already a started. Female. I got. We gotta run through it now. Come on with it. Top five. Number one. Don't matter. No, no. I gotta give them to you in order, right? Oh shit! I ain't give them. I gotta, order. You gotta give them in order. We gotta put them in order. Your top five can be different from mine. My number one female MC of all time. Number one, my favorite female MC, like. Mm-hmm. She's cute head. as hell, too. She the still mother, is. The mother of this shit. And she about 60 something, chocolate ass. Number two, Queen Latifah. Okay. Number three, Lauren Hill. You did, she quite, she what? can't, she not, that's, she not no rapper, what? though. Of what? She she rapped on the Fuji shit. But you can't you can't do that. I, like I mean you can because it's she, your it's shit. This my top five. You can't tell you. I just said five. you can, motherfucker. Damn. Lauren Hill, she's considered a female rapper, even though she sings. She's considered she was considered a rapper. Man, I could. You want me to take her out? Cause I, I take her out. I shit. So we gonna saying. go. We gonna go. I okay. I wouldn't even think so of Lauren. But she if, kick that shit though. If we taking Lauren out. If we gotta take Lauren, I, fuck that. Lauren, my number three. Y'all not gonna make me take her. Out. I didn't say nothing. I'm just saying. Lauren, number three. Kim, number four. Mm. And Nikki, my number five. Oh, you fucked up. In that order, like, for, mm-hmm. is number one like the best, or number five is the best? Number one, the best. So, like MC Light is the the mother of. Of female hip hop to me. You forgot about Roxanne Shantae. Uh, she, she hey, like what about sweet? what's name? My name is Peaches. Hello. And I'm the best. I'm just fucking with you. No, I'm fucking uh, coming to me. I'm I got like 21 minutes. Huh? Uh, you done? You already left? No, that's the old one when they was rapping on when they first got to America. But my top, I don't have no best right, right. order. He fooling. All right. Brat. Yeah. I forgot I was still on the microphone <laughs> in the middle of my conversation. When I walked off camera, I could have just had the conversation on here. Y'all probably gonna hear that. Oh well, I'm retarded. I'm, like, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, give me like twenty one minutes, huh? Shoot up that bitch, but you still at the crib. I'm oh, yeah, so God. Yeah, y'all heard me talking to my cousin. Well, it's not in order, but I got the brat. Mm-hmm. Okay. MC Light. No, you gotta put yours in order, bro. I don't have no order. Gotta order. We gotta be in order. You can't do that. That's cheating. That's cheating. Don't count down from five to one. Yeah. That was my five. Nikki was my five. Damn, dog. It's just that ten. I forgot about salt and pepper, but you can't really. It's a group. Mm, that's a group. We're doing five, man. In order. We not expand. Yeah, in order. You said it. Damn. They I gotta be go in order. order. They got to okay. be in order. Okay. So, I got the brat. Number one? Yes. Okay. That's your favorite. That's your, she's That's the best favorite. female rapper best of all time, time to you is the brat. <laughs> I mean... That's why I didn't want to do an order. No, but if it's your list, it's your it's list. No, but that's not my, not, but she's not my, I mean. You got to put them in order. But you she kicked that shit, though. Yeah, talking about but, rapping. You, but you got to. And she wrote Bow Wow shit. But she you, not my, she, my she ain't write one. all Bow Wow shit. Okay. Uh, Tip wrote most of that shit. We not going to discredit Tip like he ain't write most of that shit. But T.I.? T.I. wrote most of that shit. Damn. Most of Bow Wow shit. Y'all better look at the credits and say Clifford Harris and them bitches. Wow. Who you think wrote Fresh As I Miss? Y'all can hear it in the flow. Well, yeah, I, well, they're talking about like little. Even, even when he was, when he, when he, when he, when she, when he got older, not baby by a while, the little nigga, 
But as he got older and you heard the well, flow of him. He's been mentored by that dude. No, nah, he was just getting, he was getting, he, we thought he was getting mentored. He was getting his albums wrote. Mm. <laughs> Damn. Happy birthday to my nigga too, by a while. You is the GOAT. I don't know, niggas got to give you your credit because back in the day, niggas wanted to be you, bro. Not me. Niggas wanted to, niggas wanted to be like Mike. Niggas yeah, wanted Bray. All type of shit. You a trendsetter for sure. I never hate on you. You a cornball, but you definitely a trendsetter. For sure. You a go. I'm gonna give you I give a nigga his flowers, but I'm gonna let a nigga know at the same time you a corny nigga. Why you call him corny? Because he be doing some corny shit. He know he be doing some corny shit. shit. No, all, all kind of the other shit. shit was funny. <laughs> Not even just that. He know the corny shit he be doing. I ain't even gonna speak on you like that. But you a cornball for sure. We see it on TV too. Oh shit. Uh Debrat. Uh Nikki. Um, fuck. You got Kim and Foxy. When Foxy was kicking mine, that shit too. One was better than the other though, yeah. for sure. Yeah, what's his name went deaf or whatever the fuck happened. Even so that, Kim, even before that, Queen Latifah. Did I say light? No. Fuck mm -hmm. MC Light. I got that's fast. More than that, I know. That's fast. Nigga kick that shit. And I would like to see, like, them motherfuckers came out now, would they be able to hang with the fellas? With the fellas. Nikki hold her own with any fucking body. And Kim, too. Will who be able to hold? Oh, like the older ones. Like, actually be able to, you know, keep I up think. The I think Queen Latifah would be able to. Hell. I think I think even any, Queen. I ain't gonna sit here and lie to you. I think any, I forgot about Rod Digger. I think any I depending heard. depending on the artist you put them on the song with, any female rapper can hold that on on the song with a male rapper. Queen was a Queen pen. <laughs> she had one sweet verse, dog. We cannot. Okay, Remy Ma. We not giving them. You see what I'm saying? She not. She not top five. Though. I mean, she she and some people top five, but no, Remy know. not in my top five. She no. right on the outside looking in, though. Right. But well, she, she not in my top five. Too. But yeah, it's my top five. Female rappers. I still listen to that shit to this day. That motherfucker, what's some, what's some, what's some chick's name? Supersonic. That was trash. <laughs> that was trash, bro. <laughs> That was trash. They were spitting that shit. We, there we, female we, twisted. We, I still don't know what the they fuck they said. They wasn't saying shit. Day. That's why. Hey, what they call that shit that the females used to? What was that pig pig Latin? That's that that shit sound even. like chuckle 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 chuckle. They, they wasn't saying nothing. That was bounce <laughs> dance music, y'all. Bass music. They were spitting that shit, dog. That shit was terrible, y'all. Spitting that shit. That's like I was thinking about this the other day. If I redo my top 10 rappers of all time, a lot of niggas that I had in my list from like back in the day. Gonna be on there. A lot of niggas from my list from back in the day. <laughs> Y'all see me glitch. <laughs> Y'all see me glitch? Yeah. No, right, that nigga waited. That nigga did this motherfucking mannequin. <laughs> 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 oh, but, um, shit. That's a lot of, um. There it go. That's a lot of, that's a lot of music that didn't age well, dog. And I'm tired of you old niggas, man, saying that these new niggas were like alternative rap and other rap. It's weak. It's you the same niggas that was listening to Dyes Effects. What's wrong with Dyes Effects? We were the same niggas listening to, to um, the Wreck, what is it? Check Baby, Check Baby, it wasn't too. Oh, Rex and Effects. Yeah, y'all niggas was listening to them niggas. Them niggas is ass. Oh. That music did not age well. Here go, here go the lyrics to that super song. Come on with it. Summer Lama 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 do my see my number 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 Lama do my Lama nothing see my they spitting that shit though you up here giving them my Lama see my Lama see my do my yeah yeah that's it they spitting that shit though huh thumb twisting huh 
And they was sleep. Like <laughs> Nigga, are you serious? It's that shit for real. Mm. Retract your statement. <laughs> they fine as hell though. They was. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't rap. That beat was hard though. It mm. was. <laughs> Somebody did that. Bit. That's fucked up, dog. For, nigga, damn. Um, so they, so they came. Can we make a song? You want to make a song? I'm not about to say that. No, fuck that. That shit just motivated me. They was on TV. And that shit's still a classic. Hey, look, they was like, ah, dog. I'm mad as hell. I got a video call. I'm recording her dancing to that shit. I love you. That shit just upset me. A lot of music from the golden era of hip hop didn't age well, dog. A lot of them niggas was saying some fucked up shit. It didn't age well some when you go back. Fucked up shit. Rap, see, when you listen to it now, like when you listen, to, like I be listening to. Uh, what's the name? It's like one love, one love. Houdini. One love, one love. I live, I miss my girl. I get back. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's how they was that's how they, hey listen I'm watching the hip hop undercover shit right I'm watching the I'm watching the hip hop undercover shit and they talking about they talking about rapper's delight right that's so, my shit that's my shit but no listen so I'm in a room the other night and I'm listening to this nigga rap and I'm said. like, and I'm hearing them like, man, the lyrics was just so crazy. That nigga said, and they go yeah. back and listen to this nigga. Well, I'm Hank the Tank, or what he say? Well, I'm I'm Hank the Tank. The, the, the ladies the pimp, tank. the bitches. I mean, damn, he ain't say that. The women oh, fight for my delight, cause I'm the grandmaster from the VNCs that shocked the house for the young ladies. That's my shit. Them niggas was ass. Dude, I was just listening to that shit the other day. Well, but the, the end of it was funny as hell. No, I'm sorry. About man. the food. But the nigga said, well, the nigga, the nigga started off saying, I said a hip hop. <laughs> the hip hip hop, you don't stop. The rocket to the bang bang boogie, the up jump the boogie to the ribbon of the boogie. That shit cold. That's weak as hell, dog. But it started it. <laughs> that shit was weak. Now, dog. what you hear is not a test. I'm rapping to the beat. It's me, the groove, and my friend. We're going to try to move the beat. Grandmaster Flag, broken glass everywhere. But you see, Puff Daddy did it, remixed it. The beat was sweet. Broken glass everywhere. No, I was listening to that shit the other day. Not that I put on that feel so good. I was at work shaking like a motherfucker. So the next dude came on. He was like, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> He said, I'm the C-A-S-A. No, 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 that's the end. That's the third verse. That's Hank on the second one. I'm emphasizing. And nigga said, check it out. Check it out. Almost choked. This nigga. This is the long version, too. Hold on. That's him. nigga said, when I'm empty, the ladies pimp. Empty, the ladies pimp. Empty, the ladies pimp. Empty, But I'm the grandmaster from the three MCs that shocked the house. For the young ladies. What's when you come inside dip, man. and do the bump, nigga, I don't know. Yeah, when you come inside and to the front, you do the freak spank and do the bump. The freak spank? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is the freak spank? I want to suck an MC trying to prove a point. The trio. The trio for a serious joint. And from sun to sun, from day to day, I sit down right my brand new rhyme because, man, fuck this. Uh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> what the fuck shit. is? Look, I, I get it. Oh, it was for that era, okay. Yeah, it's for but that era. some hip hop didn't age. That just aged because the beat. Who who sampled that, that beat? That was him. Who sampled that beat? Man, a whole bunch of motherfuckers. The doom, doom, who got the biggest doom. joint over the? Doom, 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 doom. What's the name did that? Uh, I think Redman and them did that. Yeah. Mm. What was they call that shit though? It wasn't rappers. It was something else. No, it was some somebody else that did it. Didn't Puffy do that beat? No. It was Red Man and them. Damn. The nigga said, Well, I like Johnny Carson on the late show. I like a Frankie Crocker in stereo. <laughs> it's old shit. I'm keep going, bro. It's old school. I don't care, bro. 
And if a jive turkey say something wrong, I'm going at his neck. Turkey, though, <laughs> Whatever it was, it'd get your ass killed. Hell yeah. It's like calling nigga the bitch word or something. You jive turkey. What nigga? But you jive. Well, nigga, I cut you. I cut you. <laughs> Hey, the fa- the fa- why? You better get to stepping. Why niggas was talking like that in the seventies, <laughs> though? But like, 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 why was there so many pauses in between? Uh, but it was polite, though. It was so hey, fucking Jay, Jack. Don't put Stop. your motherfucking hands <laughs> on me. You lost your motherfucking man. I almost fucked you up. Right. You be like, nigga, what's all that emphasis on like, everything? Remember from? the movie um, with, with Richard Pryor, The Pimp, or something? The, the Mac. The yeah, Mac. The Mac. That nigga said. That nigga said, he said, your bitch just chose me. <laughs> he said, he said, you come here, bitch. He said, you. <laughs> he said go get that bitch. He go said, that look bitch. at you. Look. look at you. You're $2 pimp. You're nothing. Bitch, you come right here. So you was a car thief. You was a rest haven for hoes. <laughs> you you ain't got thief. no real money. A car thief. Pretty Tony was mad as hell. I wish I could say that. that, that nigga you wanna said, die, nigga? That shit was funny. Richard as hell. Pryor, dog. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said, motherfucker, can you die that? Right. <laughs> that nigga Richard Pryor said, you wanna die, nigga? You wanna die, nigga? Make your move. No, what hey, about the police get, is fucking with you? I niggas. couldn't get to it with the nigga. He's like, you punk nigga. motherfuckers? He was mad as hell. I, I just can't, like, I just. Like, hey, bitch, we gonna get him going. Like, like, I couldn't live in the 70s. I would, I would if a nigga came up and be like, you jive, hey Jack, you jive fool, you nigga what? First of all, my name is like Jack. Why am I a jive fool? <laughs> what is jive? It's just like, oh, um, shit. Brown here shucking and shit. You shucking and jive, shucking and jive because the white man. <laughs> Like, how did he make it throughout the 70s? Like, nigga, come here, baby. Let me get some of that ass. Like, right. Like, come on, let's go. They call I it a trim. I want to if it was so easy to get some pussy. Because listen, that's I, where no, you can, you it's the era of cocaine. It might have been. It was the era of cocaine. Watch yourself. No, I'm saying it was the era of cocaine. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Man, cocaine. Yeah. How, you can cook, yeah, that guy had to cook yeah. crack all motherfucking... You too. Yeah, the cocaine era. We not. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about something else. Just, just keep, just go ahead. Man, PTSD. Mom is it. You a crack baby, man? That's what you try to tell us. Hell no. I was a Jerry Curl baby. That was for damn sure. My mama shit was wet as hell. I can see. It. I can see. Fuck that. off, nigga. My mama shit was wet than a motherfucker. Them niggas was Her wet. Hey, did, she, did she have the glasses too? Do you the think it was? Big, hey, did she have the big box glasses with it too? Do you think it was heroin that had them niggas like that? <laughs> it was crack, man. It was in the crack. 70s? No, they ain't had crack. That was heroin. It was coke. Coke and heroin. Coke and heroin. Because you think a nigga get sleepy off the heroin, so then maybe you get high and you go out to try to stay up. You go out to stay up, but you still high, so your words are still heroin slow, so you still be talking like you high, but you moving. A nigga say something crazy and bump it to you at the club. You be like, hey, fool. <laughs> 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 you don't see this $300 meat. Hey, hey, we should bring, we should bring that, we should bring that thing. Hey, nigga, back up with these buffs on. <laughs> you were too close for, with, with me with these buffs. These some $3,000 meat. Oh, man. my God. Back the fuck up. Thank you you talk oh, to niggas like shit. that. Shit, he's back. I ain't taking you serious. I'm going to talk back. If, you, oh if a nigga God. talk to me like that, I'm talking back to you like that. Hey, you sucker. They gonna be like, hey fool, hey Jack, hey Jack, <laughs> what's happening? What's hanging? What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> what's what you mean? He's nuts. <laughs> nigga, what the fuck wrong with you? It was hanging. I bet you was somebody still out here that still talks to you. At the plant. What's oh, hanging? Jack? It was a dude. Hit me, hey black man. Uh uh-uh, uh, brother. I ain't trying to hear none of that shit you got to say. Hey, you remember? Remember the? Uh, the fuck? Remember the auto teacher? Nigga, you had the fro. The nigga, what's up, Joe? <laughs> this thing is. <laughs> He's from Chicago. Know. Yeah, he had to uh, that movie. Like, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I don't know the nigga. That nigga shit was perfect, nigga, too. Perfect, bro. Dog, he reminded me of uh, the, 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 the old white. I mean, I said the old white dude. The black guy. I can't yeah, think of his name for shit. Yeah, Joe. Can you imagine oh, you man. one of them activist <laughs> Black Panther know. niggas being your homeboys growing up, man? No. 
Dog, I wouldn't have. If, you I, can't go nowhere. Listen, listen. You shouldn't eat them chips because it's made by the white man. I'm going to die laughing at you. If you my. If that like, paper came from the if slaves. If I would have grown up, as soon as you would have said, you going to school, that's the man's tool. <laughs> what? You mad because I'm getting smart, nigga? <laughs> Thought you was my friend. You learning the white man's book. Nigga, we y'all ain't no black people book, so that's what we got to learn. That's from. besides the point. Nigga. The man is spying on you. Yo, that shit crazy. Nigga, had you at home scared looking out the window. Your mama asked you what's wrong. Jacob said the man was spying on us, mama. <laughs> we got to look out the windows. Had you all fucked up. You know, you know uh, Jacob been down there uh, doing that hair run. You can't be listening to that boy. Hair run, Same babies. Fucking in the alley. That's the shit. <laughs> I see some people do some drugs and just be wondering, like, what made you get it? What made you try that if you see somebody before you do it and how they act? Like, the same reason why motherfuckers be like, hey, man, that girl pussy weak as hell. You're like, I got to find out for no, myself. No, because a nigga, I, I ain't never seen a crackhead do some crazy shit and be like, oh, nigga, if I smoke crack, I could do that. Like, or I gotta see what them them niggas be doing. Whatever for the crack, that shit gotta be crazy. I wanna try it. I ain't never man, thought that. Sucking dick, nigga. I just be knowing, nigga. I done, <laughs> nigga, I done seen the crackhead. I done seen the crackhead mow the line from, from corner to corner, bro, nigga. Bro, like, motherfuckers are smart and strong as hell. Dog, Pancho hooked our cable up, nigga. The old white. crackheads. I miss them. The neighborhood crackhead was the was the most informational motherfucker around. They was some thieves too, though. Yeah, that's the shit. But <laughs> and celebrate to you. No, you cut their ass nature, man. Come on, man. You know I was fucked up out here, man. I but give me twenty dollars for it. But nigga, it's mine. Oh, uh, man. But that's beside the point. When I get a couple dollars, I'll pay you back. Yeah. Nigga, when are you? Your your money is gone, nigga. When you get it, you are yeah, a dope yeah. fiend. You work for crack. The neighborhood crackhead was. Was very informal. You want to know what's going down? Sass crackhead. Yeah. Sass crackhead. Yeah. And it sucks because, like, in in my area of the hood, one of my friends, her mom was was the neighborhood crackhead. Well, a couple of my. <laughs> I felt bad for her though, growing up. Like you knew it was like you knew it was there. Like you knew what her mom was doing, but you just never spoke. About it. I think somebody I grew like, up she with. She stayed. She stayed away from when niggas was shooting the dozens. Because if she ever tried to cap on anybody, they. they she knew that shit was coming. Yeah. And thankfully, like, her mom never showed up at Rapper. It was always her grandma. It was always the Rapper thing. Because mm. if you niggas would have found out. Do I know this female? You probably do. Mm. For her protection, I'm just not going to say it on camera. Okay, cool. <laughs> I want to know. I'll tell you afterwards. I knew some people. Very she probably fine as hell. Most females' nah, mom was a crackhead. Gay now. But okay. <laughs> Is she gay gay or like oh, Manny Fresh looking gay? She, she, she's borderline Manny Fresh. She's and we not calling Manny Fresh gay. <laughs> Some of the females that, you know, be the studs look like stud. Manny Fresh. She's stud. No shit. Uh, 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 fresh. Right. Had to she ain't, clarify she ain't that big, shit. She ain't big like Manny Fresh, though. Oh. Fresh. 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 Fuck that nigga's ass. Jadakiss. Or Lil Boosie. She Lil Boosie. Lil Boosie. We'll do it after. Because I don't you know my reaction talk? gonna be fucked you up. You wanna ring your mouth? You want some guys to front off by the fucking? Oh man, we got finished, dog. Yeah, How much time we got? No, he's on. Oh, okay. Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys finally reached the deal. Finally. He didn't want to pay that fucking man. He paid Tony Romo. And Tony Romo didn't do too much of shit. Paid everybody but this man. He didn't want to pay him. He paid him with six years, a hundred and he getting a hundred and sixty million. Something guaranteed. One hundred and twenty-six million guaranteed. Guaranteed. Something like that. Uh, one twenty-three, one twenty-six, one yeah. or two guaranteed. Yeah. I got a feeling they ain't gonna trade this motherfucker. Who that? I think they signed him just to get rid of him because he didn't want to sign him. He did not want to get that yeah, dude no, no money. Choice. Who else he going to get to be the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys? I wouldn't want to go If there. Jerry Jones get rid of Dak Prescott and bring in a rookie quarterback or a subpar quarterback and Dallas was ass again next year, he wouldn't give a it would have been, it made him look bad. Team. So now he paid Dak because Dak wanted his money. 
And I have Dak go out there and and, and ball it ain't Super Bowl or bust for that. It's Dang, Super Bowl or bust. Ain't winning no motherfucking Super Bowl. I can tell you that now. It's Super Bowl or bust. Man, and it ain't man. like they've been having shitty teams. It was a couple years they was okay. Damn, the shit just shot out there. But I don't know, man. That year they fucking they cheated the Lions. They probably could have did something. That's when Dez Brown was still on the squad. They fucked over him. That's why I don't care for Dallas. Who, uh, Dez Brown? CS? Yeah, they did. Mm-hmm. CS? Up, or they start with a C? No. That look like fucking, uh. Um... What's up? <laughs> Damn, and she do that? That's fucked up. And she cute. She can. Yeah. So I think they, uh, I don't care for Dallas, the Cowboys. I'm not a Cowboy fan. Yeah, I'm not a Cowboy fan either. I ain't a Cowboy fan because my second home is Buffalo, New York. What up, though? Uh, East Side, by the way. Bills went to the, <laughs> to the Super Bowl four years in a row and lost four years straight. Then it was some Dallas fault, too, so. Fuck Dallas. Yeehaw. Oh, you got you feel like one of them niggas that hates Michael Jordan. No. 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 Uh, no. That's why people be you you ever talk to No, I people. I don't like Dallas now because I was being ran, but when Dion was on that team. You wanna stop that thing. Hell no. Still the same. And Dion, a cold Listen. motherfucker. That nigga won in San Francisco the year before that, then went to Dallas. You know why? Like, I didn't even know the motherfucker played for San Francisco, bro. Like, yeah. One year. I didn't even know that. One year like, after I, he left Atlanta. I watched Atlanta. the special they had on Facebook. And they, I was like, they played for San Francisco? I thought yeah. it was more than one year. I was like, bro, nope. I thought he played for Dallas. He played for Dallas and Atlanta. No, Atlanta, San Francisco, Dallas. I don't know if it was Washington and or Baltimore before that. Might have been the Ravens last, but so you, it was Washington, then he the Ravens. He won a Super Bowl with the Ravens. No, no. he didn't. He didn't? No. no. I was asking. I, that they, I think he played the year before they won, the 99 season. I think. I the 99 know. season. Well, yo, what's up with that first college win, though, that he got his head covered? How the fuck they do that? And I thought college football was over. No, they got a spring league. Spring league. You got to make up. Uh, he blew them. They, what was it, 53 to nothing? 56 to nothing? No, it was a close game. Was no, the fuck it wasn't. The first game that no. you showed today. No. That, that first game, it was 50-something to nothing. 50-something. No, it was against Grambling State that they were <sighs> No, I'm saying the first. What you mean? They beat uh. Grambling State recently. Okay, I don't know about that. But I'm talking about that first game. His first oh, yeah. His first game was 50-something to nothing. Yeah, damn. Yeah, beat the shit out of him. I can't wait till we start getting some goddamn money. So we got a question. We can look at whoever the fuck it is. They can look the shit up. Because it get quiet in the bitch. Sorry, we sitting there like, uh, <laughs> motherfucker, you motherfucker so unprofessional. Let me do my Google. Hey, listen, you see, we at the trap. We ain't in the trap, but we at the, we at the crib. We in the crib doing this shit, so. And we got to do our own research and shit. Until hey. somebody, uh. Sponsor us. Hey, Okay. So let me get this yeah, up. they beat them 33 to 28. They beat Grambling State. They beat Edward Waters 53 to 0. Yeah. They play uh, best Mississippi Valley okay. uh, on Sunday. On oh, Sunday? Yeah. What the hell they start playing college football on Sunday? Hey, man. It's spring. I know. It's spring league, man. Oh, something new. Um. So, I want to talk about. It's this. hell. Let me tell you, I ain't sleepy, I'm high. And then I was like, my arm kind of hurt. It's going to work today. But anyway, listen. Um, Hold on. Before you get into it, I know what you're about to do. Before you do that, Blake Griffin signing with the Nets. I, I, I think it's a good fit. And he about to show out. Hopefully, he don't get injured and we get the old. Catch another, if I see that nigga catch a motherfucking lob, I'm going to be mad as fuck. Okay. He played with the Pistons. If Listen, I played with the Pistons, I, I would be depressed. No, nah, fuck that. You, if this nigga get on, as soon as he get on court and catch a lob, I'm investigating. I don't. Why well, he said investigate? <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, this is how I feel about it. I don't like it. You don't like it? No. I just and I heard, it. and I think they might get drumming. Oh, I don't like that either. I think he needs to go to LA. Yeah. Fuck no. Go to LA. No, because I got some money that the motherfuckers ain't going to win the championship. Hey. Reason it would be so funny? Hey, D. 
Don't go to the Lakers, dog. They already got an AD already there, a player. You know what would be so funny? I don't know. go to the Lakers, right? Mm-hmm. He only, I mean, he going to be a fill-in as AD coming. He come off, him, him coming off the bench? Because it would be him, Harold. Mark Gasol, and they come off the bench. Harold. Man, keep Mark Gasol on the bench. If he ain't going to play. No, he ain't. If they, so you have he is bomb Drummond, juice. Harold, mm-hmm. my man, um, Harold, Harold's brother, the bench, he bro. might play small, might, might play small. Who's shooting guard? Caruso. 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 Damn, and you know I fucked up? Because uh, Kuzma starting? Yeah. He been starting because AD out. So they would, they, somebody, ain't, somebody ain't getting no clock. He playing a four. Somebody ain't getting no clock. That's cool. How you, how you think Dwight Howard felt? The nigga came there and rolled the oak. He played. He played, but he didn't get no playing time. Like if they, listen, he the reason, well, I think on the Joker, Dwight Howard was getting in this well, motherfucker that's, head. It all depends and on. that motherfucker got work. It'd be okay. The Joker got work. It depends on Schroeder start or not in the playoffs. Yeah, that's what it yeah, all that's, depends that's on. That's what I know with Tyson. Shit. If Schroeder coming he off the bench, bad, but he ain't no Rondo. The play style. If you, if you, if you, if you he see, play good defense and he a, he a walking bucket. Yeah. If you pay attention to how they both play, bro, they they kind of play the same a little bit. But he can shoot better and he a bucket. He a bucket. But he looked as well. Schroeder a bucket. Schroeder get you He'll a get good you, twenty a game. You gonna get you gonna, eighteen. You gonna get you gonna get some buckets. <clears throat> right. And he gonna get you two three steals. But shit, playoff Rondo showed up too though, baby. Damn, but. Yeah. That's why. That's why I think, I think Drummond should go to fucking Lakers. If mm. he goes to Brooklyn, I'm gonna laugh if them niggas get to the finals and lose. If he go to Brooklyn, I don't see. I mean, this how I'm looking at it now. They loading up in the East to get past Giannis. They ain't gotta load up shit to get past Giannis. Man, hey, he is a force to be reckoned with by his fucking self. Well, they've been saying that he for the Cavs. Kept past couple years and but just got bounced out. You gotta, the but playoffs. yeah, but you gotta understand this now. Say Brooklyn and Milwaukee meet. They yeah. got bounced out by Toronto. Say and Toronto Bro- ain't had too much of shit. Say Bro- know nobody in the big. Toronto enough. played that Detroit basketball. Yeah, they played good Detroit. <laughs> say, <laughs> say, say, uh, say Milwaukee. Not and, the bad boys, Pistons. Say Milwaukee. <laughs> bitch, stop cutting me off. Say Milwaukee <laughs> and Brooklyn, uh, meet in the finals. If it come down to defense, Milwaukee got the better defensive team. I, I don't care if y'all talking about them superstars like over there. Third place in the, in the Bucks. Yeah, third, third yeah but it, 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 I it, don't trust them in the playoffs. What about Philly though? Philly, even when they lock down and play D, I ain't forgot about them. Joel and B, bro. Like, if they lock down and play D, Brook, you, I, I feel like the key to be Brook. You need 120 uh, points to be Brooklyn. If you can score over 120 points. It ain't going to be points. no high-scoring games like that. Man, you crazy playoffs. as hell. Don't nobody play defense. It was high-scoring games last playoffs. I know not even. Man, that was a fucking open run. I'm telling you, man. That's you all know. this shit is right now. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you. The sleeper team on the East is the motherfucking Hornets. No. You better watch out for them New York Knickerbockers. They fifth in the seed. I ain't worried about it. I'm, mm. like, you the Hornets the fifth? The Hornets are, are seventh. When the hell they come to the East? The Hornets been in the East, bro. Since New Orleans, my bad. Oh, you talk. Oh. I'm thinking about what's the name? New Orleans. Yeah, 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 yeah. my bad. My bad. Yeah, no. Uh... Cause they used to be the Bobcats. Yeah. And they went back Charlie to. The I got you. That's All right, Bob I got Johnson it. Boy. I got it. Bob I got Johnson, I remember Bobcats, and then when he saw the team back, Mike got, got the it. name back. That's how you got the Pelicans. It's the sound of a millisecond. The yeah. Pelicans. Sound of stockness is in the air. Yeah, sounds of Hellcats and Skatebackers in the air. The sounds of onesies and flip flops was fur. No, you bitches gonna be out here looking like earthquake, earthquake and typhoon in this bitch. Mm. No, that's a new outfit coming out this summer. It's a new outfit coming out this summer for him. Can we please <laughs> bring back the summer dresses? No, nah, man. Summer dresses. Summer dresses right. had their season. No, nah, dog. Bring it back. And, I and love nachos. seeing ass. Like real ass. Not that shit that you go on Southwest and you had them put that cement in your ass. I don't like well, that shit. Well, if you get your booty done in the Southwest, then. I'm just talking shit. You but somebody it. said somebody was getting motherfucking work done in somebody's basement. And I believe them. It was. It was the lady. Because you be know. seeing these motherfucking chicken leg holes with these gigantic asses oh, I on saw them. That. I saw that work. You I was see, like, 
Y'all ain't see that one girl, uh, the big booty Judy, some shit, Judy the booty, some some shit. She going to jail for that shit. And down in Florida, she ejecting all the video girls with cement and silicone in their booty and shit. This bitch had like 56 implants or some crazy Jesus number of implants. Put cinder blocks in their ass. <laughs> I saw one like this bitch. If you get it done in it, legs right? If you get it, basketball. Yeah, that's the name. If you get it done right, then it's cool. I don't care. I, I, I. If you look good, I'm gonna look at you. I'm gonna I, I look too, but I'm gonna be talking shit. Cause, Cause at the end of the day, the vagina is still real. Nigga, you gonna be trying? He on his own with that one. The Brajarens. Hey, be hitting that motherfucker. You hear that pop sound? That motherfucker. That's like, if she had damn, a bad job. Like the motherfucking yeah. tire went low. <laughs> this motherfucker fucked up. That nigga gonna be hitting that shit from the back. That nigga pelvis is gonna be red. Cause <laughs> be <laughs> I, I, I done hit a couple chicks. That, that nigga shot. doing a crybaby and shit. That nigga on head like, damn, why my, why my fucking abs red? Right. I done, I done, I done bust your motherfucking bladder out. I didn't, I didn't hit some blood. I didn't hit a couple chicks that done had uh, shots. I can't moment. do it though. I, I touched this one lady nigga, titty. No fluff, nigga, just hitting all stiffness, just mm, mm, no, no, but, no yeah, way. Like hitting a chick with no ass. That should hurt. That's all pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, the back of that tailbone. Oh, yeah, it is true. That should hurt if you if they depend on how the arch is. You hitting all of that. That should hurt. One time that shit got to hurt my damn blood. I said, you know what? A couple months. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I got that wet, wet. No, bitch, I was on the verge of dying. Got time to be pissing out blood the next couple days? Fuck you. Man. Motherfucker. All right, man, the floor is yours. I'm about to sit over here because I don't want to hear this shit. No, it's, it's a regular conversation. I ain't even going to vent about it for real because I'm not going to be petty like that person was and be putting everything I'm on the internet. First I'm just going to tell you all. I just want to vent. Here's a <clears> story <throat> about a man named Jed. Well, I'm going to tell you all the story. Fuck it. Fuck it. Cause she got on the internet and got to asking the question. So, where's this nigga frowning? Enjoy the show. I was talking to this chick. So I'm talking to this little chick Damn. or whatever, or whatever. We kicking it for about a month, for some change or whatever. The fuck? Go see what my niece want, man. Damn, what's that motherfucker? Daddy was aggressive as hell. Yeah. Man, it's go. Go. They go here. Hear you being a dad. It's okay. Yeah. Man. I'll wait for you. No, go ahead. No, because you about to be, you still going to be on the mic. Huh? I'm almost done, okay? Give me a second, okay? I love you. I love you. Oh, you want a hug? Here I come. You get heavy. All right, give me a second, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> what? Okay. Being a dad. Super dead is back. <clears throat> How do I go on my story after that little cute woman we just had and heard? Damn, they heard that? You got a microphone, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, hopefully, oh. you picked it up. Hopefully, I don't want this shit to be funny. That's all good. That's my baby. Yeah. He was like, Whoa. I don't even know how to go into my next segment. He jumped up. Oh, you want a hug? My I'm next segment. Get, get emotional and shit. I have a daughter. Shit all right, boom. Check this Ooh, out. Oh, right. shit. Hoo, hoo, hoo. He almost went down. <laughs> he shit his pants. You need some wipes? Did you see him? No. You you missed it. Oh, the fucking camera. That nigga said. <laughs> I, was, I was talking to the camera. My man, that nigga shit himself, dog. He shook like a ball. <laughs> That's why I'm be leading that motherfucker hard. That's listen, dog. He was scared as hell. That nigga hold that nigga like this. I, that I, nigga, him doing that made him go forward. No bullshit. I can't enjoy the laugh because I didn't see it. Man, and listen. It's not, he would he would have fucked his head up on that wall. And it's not gonna be on camera, so I'm Man, that's <laughs> fucked up. I missed it. So it's gonna see my motherfucking reaction like. Um, but yeah. I'm mad now. I'm happy you got that afro. <laughs> Your ass been sleep like a motherfucking fucking cut! Right. <laughs> go ahead, dog. Um, I can, how do I come back to my shit after those two moments in a row? You, you, said, you said it was so No, nah, fuck that. <laughs> like, you went and did the, like, all daddy <coughs> thing, and that was cute. <coughs> and then he busts his ass, and I He ain't even bust his ass. It's, I'm happy. I think, I'm, I'm happy he didn't fall. I'm disappointed. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, that was a 
Because if you would have went to the right, you was hitting at all of that. I'm trying to reword this. Shit. Yeah. Right. Like, nigga, do we? How you stop this motherfucking camera? This nigga ain't getting up. <laughs> For real. Mike's on the damn thing. <laughs> nigga, you going right. to get this nigga off the mouth? Hell no. He dead well. Right, she get his phone. Let's give him the phone. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to I'm gonna keep forgetting how I wanna word it and then I'm gonna say it the wrong way. Don't say it the wrong way. Let me get that shit off your chest. No, I am. I'm being politically correct. I'm not gonna be as childish as I could be or as petty as I could be. I just wanna talk to talk to you women. <laughs> I just wanna have a minute with the women, right? And y'all can answer these questions in the comments because I really need to know. Like, why do y'all think Toxic is attractive. Like, that shit not cute to do crazy shit. That shit is funny as hell. It's, it's not. It's, straight and shit. It's not, it's not cool to do crazy shit and think the nigga supposed to accept that and still love you and like you after that. Like, no, I'm getting the fuck away the first sign I see you act like you lick windows. I... <laughs> I don't, like, that shit ain't sexy. Like, okay, maybe it's some toxic shit within a relationship Ugh. that are that is sexy. You all right? Yeah, man. All right. That's that, shit funny as hell. That is, that is sexy, but, like, no. Like, I just went through a situation that was, like, I kind of, like, told you, like, Damn. I'm single, you single. We dating. That don't mean we together, we're not committed to each other, we're not in a relationship, we kicking it. Here comes Dakota. Um, and she's got a poop. Go ahead, man. It's <laughs> <Just> that bullshit. <laughs> At least she ain't saying I got you, shit. But you got, I, you still about. I ain't gonna say nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> I wanna hear bloop de bloop. I ain't gonna hear no bloop But de yeah, bloop. we was both single. We date. You are a made this decision to call me when you're done. Okay. Not <laughs> rush things right, and she, in her mind, we was further along in, the, in in this dating thing than I was. So when I kept reiterating that, I'm trying to say this right. Here. When I kept reiterating that to her, and she kept saying that she understood it, right? So we get into a little spat, argument, disagreement, and. I guess I was supposed to read the situation different. I think I, I apologize because when she told me about what I was wrong for, I like, yeah, you're right. I was. She was mad. I wanted to keep talking about it because it wasn't worded the way she wanted. And I wasn't going to, I'm not, first of all, I'm not going to be controlled. Second of all, I forgot my second of all. Yeah, hold on. So, second of all, when people show you their true colors, you supposed to fucking run because that's who the fuck they are. If somebody show you that they nuts, you supposed to be like, I ain't nuts, and I can clearly tell when somebody else is nuts. I need to get the fuck away from this situation. Do that. If you're not, you know, people pulling up to your house in the middle of the night, I'm about to get you some paper towel. And give me like five more minutes. Or okay. calling you back for sex. Okay. At the yard, just been arguing all day. I got that off my chest in the most nicest possible way. I mean, nicest possible way I could without being ignorant and matching the ignorance that I was spewed upon on the internet. It's beginning to look a lot. That girl crazy. Yeah. As hell. All right, I got, I, I got it off. You got it off? Yeah. I'm mad as hell. I missed it. Yeah. So what was the last part? I want to know because I want to chime yeah. in. Oh, I ain't saying nothing about the story. I just told, you know, my certain situation about how I, how we wasn't together. We was dating. We said we wasn't going to be a couple. We was dating. You still was, but you Wasn't it supposed to just be a fuck thing, though? It originally, it's, that's what it started as. So she was like, you looking for a relationship or whatever? And I'm like, no. 
I'm not looking for a relationship <clears throat> right now. I'm just looking for somebody to be cool, chick, kick it, chill, catch a vibe with, right. you know what I'm saying, and just go with the flow. And that's what it was supposed to be. It was just, you know, we was hanging out on our day off and, you know, on that Tuesday drinking, you know what I'm saying, what you want. And, you know, we whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying. One day turned to two days. Two days turned to three days, three days turned to four days, and then, you know what I'm saying, it was like, okay, you're over here all the time. Right. It's kind of like you're in a relationship, which I don't want one, you know what I'm saying, but we kicking it, and I like you, so it's cool to have you around, but as long as you understand the, what we talked about already, we shouldn't have no problem, you but know what I'm saying? But from my understanding, you can lay down rules and all types of shit with a female, but once you hit that motherfucking, that motherfucking, that, that crazy spot in that vagina, all that shit y'all talked about go out the window. No, because I'm keep reiterating it. And you I, I keep hear you. I hear telling you, me, man. You want the same thing. And if page, you tell me. But if you hit that motherfucking crazy spot, nigga, whatever you no, talk about don't mean shit. If you tell me you understand what the fuck I said, I'm not having, like, I'm going to keep telling you. Hey, listen, remember what we talked about? Remember what I said? What I ain't looking for? What we ain't looking for? We ain't trying to make this? Yeah, I remember. Okay. You remember. Do you, do you comprehend? Right. Yeah, I got with you. Okay. They can say that I'm shit. I'm reiterating this, this, this to you. Get you to shut the fuck up. At least two, three times a week, I'm going <coughs> to keep reiterating this to you. Well, and then when I start feeling like you don't understand that this ain't what it's called, that it, this ain't that, then that's when it's time for me to be part of my ways with you. That's why a lot of times when you see, when I've been single, you might see me fucking with somebody and it might look like, yeah, they they kind of rocking tough or they might, you know what I'm saying, he might like her when we won't. Right. And it'd be like, yeah, we didn't came to an understanding. We kicking it. We ain't, it's ain't no boyfriend and girlfriend shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. We kicking it, won't. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but then when I feel like I can feel it. You know what I'm saying? I know. Right. Motherfuckers act a certain way when they when they do shit that they wasn't doing, and then mm -hmm. the first sign of me seeing it is like, hey, don't do that. Right. Don't act like that, cause I, you know what I'm saying? We don't. I, I cut this shit off. Let me ask you a question. Say like you you dating, cause I'm I'm supposed to be dating, but I'm kind of scared too. I ain't gonna lie, I really am, cause I'm gonna fuck eventually. Mm. And if I like a female, if I'm feeling her, you know, you hit them with that. You know, hey, listen. Hey, come back. Let me finish. Let me finish. No, no. Just, just to piggyback off what you said about the sex thing, right? Mm -hmm. Earlier too. I don't know how to have. I don't know the difference between what y'all call relationship sex or whatever. Hey, listen. Porn fucked me up at a young age, watching porn and learning how to have sex from porn, right? So, I think I'm supposed to show out every time, and the reason I feel like that is because That's even problem. even this right here. I my reputation got to precede itself. That's what it got to do. And I'm not going to slack off in there because I don't want to slack off one day and then a girl tell her own girl, like, yeah, I fucked that little weak dick ass nigga. He can't even. And he was whack. I want her to be like, yeah, dog beat the duties down. Right. You know what I'm saying? So my reputation to precede itself. I, mean, I understand. But I got to let you know when I'm beating that motherfucker up. I'm, I talk. So I'm letting you know. Flat bread and white wine. white wine For the brown skin with bright eyes Yeah, we smoking loud, but it's quiet time